Kutanchira and surrounding village that there was not a single person who died without the assistance of Thracia in those days. That if Thracia would be there at the bed of the dying, that soul would not be lost in hell. Marim Thracia made use of the special graces she received from God for reading the hearts of sinners and dying to win them all for God. It was through the path of suffering and struggles that Thracia was able to give spiritual help to others. She observed penances and mortified her body to help sinners with the graces of repentance. One day, Our Lady asked Thracia to offer prayers for the conversion of a sinner belonging to her own parish. Accordingly, she prayed for the person. The man in unconsciousness kept saying, I am ruined, this room is full of fire. The man was living without any faith all his life in sin. Thracia specially prayed for this sinner in front of the blessed sacrament day and night. The man regained consciousness after a long period, asked for confession and died in peace. Father Vidyatir has recorded, the devils were mad at her and came in large number. One of them took the form of a male elephant, pierced her side with a tusk and told her, you mind your own business. Blessed Mother came and cured her immediately, but much blood flowed out of her body. The wound was nine inches long and it remained for days to heal fully. The Blessed Mother revealed and directed her to the house of sick people in her parish. On such occasions, sinners usually got repentance and happy death through Tracia's prayers. There was a man suffering from cancer in the throat. He used to do the work of nursing smallpox patients. He was not God-fearing in his youth. Even before certifying whether they are dead, he used to tie them up and get them up ready for burial. On hearing that he was about to die, Tracia went to visit him. Then she saw that the devil frightening him, showing him sights as a man's body covered with a mat and a stone placed on his chest. Thracia prayed and gave him consoling advice, but the man turned her away in anger. Thracia continued to pray for the man with her companions and family members seeking a lady's mediation. Father Vidyatil gave him complete absolution of sin before the man died. Thracia could see him going to heaven with the angels. To record another incident, one day Thracia, while talking to her old friend, found that she was in a state of despair. So she made use of the meeting to give the woman necessary advice and induce her to make a good confession. In many cases, Thracia read their heart, found, corrected and won for God persons who were making false confession and approaching death without hope. Thracia, like other saintly souls, often took upon herself the physical pain of others. A woman belonging to other parish had been suffering from stomach disease for a number of years. The illness worsened, she had fever, swelling and acute pain in the stomach. Thracia prayed and expressed to take upon her illness in order to cure the woman. At once, the fever and pain passed on to Thracia. Blessed Virgin informed Thracia that God had not willed to cure the woman but instead had prolonged her life for a month. Thracia suffered for her. After a month, the woman died and came to Thracia with Jesus, Mary and Joseph and informed her that God had spared her from purgatory and would go to heaven in the early hours of Saturday, after which she vanished. Thracia put her maximum effort to it. At least she could save one soul for God. She made good use of every spiritual practices and torments by the devils to gain more souls. Thus, to quench the thirst of Christ on the cross, she counted her worth relating to the sufferings and blood flowed from the cross for her. Therefore, saving a soul was more important for Thracia.
let us listen to the blissful death of Maria Theresa at the age of 50 in the coming episode till then prayers Thank you.